Spoiler warning! Major spoilers for episodes 1 and 2. Last time on Vivi, Fluoride Eye Song. Listen Vivi, I'm an AI sent from the future to stop the robot apocalypse, and I need your help. The first thing we gotta do is save this congressman- Nah, that's I. You know, everyone dies in the apocalypse, and that means there will be no one for you to make happy with your singing. Gee, you son of a gun, I'm in! And now, episode two, Quarter Note, the beginning of the 100 year journey. Summary. In this episode, we follow Vivi and Masumoto as they try to save that congressman. The external conflict of this episode is of course that situation, but the internal conflict is mainly Vivi and Masumoto trying to figure out how they can work together, because right now they do not get along very well. By the end of the episode, they do save the congressman, and while Vivi and Masumoto don't really like each other, it seems they have gained a better understanding of one another. The end of this episode got me really messed up though, when Vivi's kid friend dies in a plane crash. Vivi was powerless to do anything, and Masumoto makes it clear that they're only here to alter specific things about the past, and they aren't going to stop every tragedy. Impressions. On my Pain and Euphoria ranking system, this again gets a bless, just like the last episode. It expanded more on the characters and world, while adding in some solid action. The My Anime List score is the exact same as it was for last episode, I'll just leave it here, while adding that 75% of people think it's at least an 8, 40% at least a 9, and 15% of people think it's a 10. So, so far, so very, very good. Predictions, again, same as last time, the best thing this show can do is more of the same, and the worst it can do is just make everything extremely convoluted, like, you know, normal anime. Right now, I'm just wondering how Vivi's going to get her arm back on. If you want to watch it, pause here for details. Otherwise, that's about it. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.